Lord Jesus as we gather in your presence we come with grateful hearts hearts filled with gratitude for everything that you have done for us you have been instrumental in major moments of our lives guiding protecting directing our lives in a way you have been walking by our side even in moments where we were not able to recognize your presence you still were there We thank you Lord for the gift of this new day. You have blessed us with a new day to experience your love, your mercy. A new day to be able to correct the wrongs that we have done. To put into practice all that you have taught us but lord as we gather before you there are still things which keep troubling us things which hold us back various thoughts feelings present in our heart and in our mind feelings of anxiety fear frustration we place them at your feet o oh lord we know lord that you will take care of everything and as in today's gospel you tell us about giving our whole self to the mission that you have given each and every one of us as we reflect on today's gospel passage we see that with the exception of nicodemus the pharisees rejected jesus without any real investigation they believed that they had a monopoly on the knowledge of god they believed that their truth was the only truth and we see that what jesus condemned in them was their hypocrisy jesus quotes isaiah when talking about the pharisees jesus says this people honors me with their lips but their heart is far from me as we listen to these words let us take a few moments and reflect on our lives could i be a pharisee and not know it sometimes do i claim to have a monopoly over certain things do i feel that the truth that i hold is the only truth we all have our prejudices sometimes we can ask ourselves are we able to speak out and speak up for what we believe is true 
and are we able to accept the circumstance and the consequences of standing for the truth do we consider the possible consequences of not speaking up jesus tells us let your light shine all the teachings of jesus exhort us to stand up for the truth how can we live this in today's world the gospel reminds us of how jesus was a controversial figure among those many people with whom he came in contact with he himself had asked who do the people say i am and in a way this question is very relevant in today's world to have the gift of faith means to have the gift of prayer this means that we have the gift of being able to be in touch with jesus to the power of his divinity this is more than just thinking about jesus but opens us to the reality of a close friendship with him in accordance with our personalities this prayer becomes very personal we see that the people who lived with jesus were puzzled as to whether he was a prophet or a messiah and in a way this showed that he had made a big impression on them but they could not go so far as to accept that he was definitely and fully the messiah still we see that there are many who don't recognize the greatness of Jesus the police of the temple were afraid to arrest Jesus because he had made such an impression on them they themselves realized that no one spoke as well as Jesus did because when Jesus spoke he spoke out of experience he spoke from the heart and that is what touched many and made them believe in him we could ask ourselves this question when i listen to the word of jesus when i listen to his teachings how motivated i am i to follow his teachings and yet we see the crowd around jesus were puzzled by his origin from nazareth and this prevented them from meeting him as a person and learning who he really was the pharisees thought that his listeners were being deceived by jesus this was strange since he who is all truth could not deceive anyone during this time we need to ask for the grace to be able to discern in our lives what is right and what is wrong it can be all too easy to be carried away by the voices in today's world we always have the comparison between the cheap grace and the costly grace the cheap grace that tries to bypass everything and take a shortcut to its happiness fame and success but you have the costly grace which in turn exhorts us to follow the teachings of Jesus to follow his gospel values and in doing so there may be persecutions and trials along the way 
but in the end the reward is sweet and therefore we ask the lord to give us the grace to be able to discern well similarly we see that there were two ways of, of approaching jesus some hear him they see how he lives and love to be with him others go back to their books and argue about his pedigree we ask the lord to save us from losing ourselves in the babel of books and arguments give us the grace lord so that we may be able to meet you and know you more deeply and all this can happen in prayer because prayer can allow us to have a deep and intimate union with you to be able to be surprised by your works probably as we end this prayer today we could ask ourselves this question who is jesus for me and what have i learned from jesus today what does jesus want me to do we see that jesus does not give us any easy answers but as we journey and make plenty of questions jesus is always there beside us lord grant that i may hear and understand and may be turned inside out nicodemus reminds the pharisees that the law does not allow people to be judged without a hearing is there someone in our lives whom we have condemned without listening to their side of the story and as we reflect on this in a very special way we keep in mind all those social activists those who give their lives so that they may be a voice for the voiceless those who actively put their lives at risk we pray for all those who stand up for the marginalized who stand up for the truth because these are the ones following the true gospel values and as we spend these moments with the lord we continue to pray for the entire world that's been engulfed by the pandemic we pray for the victims we pray for all those who have been affected by it in various ways we pray for the doctors the medical staff and above all we pray for the government authorities that all the decisions may be for the common good we pray for those who celebrate their birthdays and their wedding anniversaries today we ask the lord to be with them and give them good health of mind and body we also pray for all those who in a way help us and are with us we also pray for those who are answering the exams or those who are preparing for the exams give them the strength lord so that all their hard work may bear fruit 
We pray for peace in the world, peace in our neighborhood, in our families, and most importantly, within us. We also pray for all those who have been left alone, those who feel abandoned, rejected, maltreated. We bring all of these, Lord, at your feet. We pray for all those who have asked us for their prayers. We also pray for those languishing in the destitute houses and in the home for the aged. Above all, Lord, we pray for each and every one of us that inspired by today's gospel, we may be able to be, be strong witnesses to your word that everything that we do may come from our heart. We may do things with conviction so that we may be able to spread your mercy and goodness to all around us.